In today's video, I have a special guest joining me to recap all of the major trades we've seen during the 2018 NHL offseason. And that's coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams, so if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top today, we're going to do a recap here of all the major trades that we've seen during the 2018 NHL offseason. Obviously it's been a very busy summer with a lot of big names changing uniforms. As most of you probably know, I like to have special guests on the channel from time to time and promote other channels that produce great content. Today we have a newer channel to the hockey YouTube community called Snipe City. So they prepared a video recapping all the major trades. I certainly hope you enjoy their video and their link will be down below in the description and I highly recommend you go over and consider subscribing to their channel. Big thanks to Top Shelf Hockey for having us on. You can check us out in the description at Snipe City. This video will be covering all the major transactions you've seen this summer. So first off, we're going to be starting with the trades, the major transactions. And the first one actually happened June 15th, 2018, uh, between the Montreal Canadiens and the Arizona Coyotes, forward Max Domi for forward Alex Galchenyuk. So we're not going to go too much in depth with this trade as we've already covered two videos on it. So let's move on to the next trade. So in this trade, it involved the Ottawa Senators acquiring forward Mikhail Bodker and prospect Julius Bergman along with a 2026 round pick. The San Jose Sharks acquired Mike Hoffman, Cody Donahue, and a 2025th round pick. Uh, San Jose then flipped over Mike Hoffman to Florida along with the 7th in the 2018 draft for a 4th, a 5th, and a 2nd. So in my opinion, Bodker is a really underrated player and hopefully he can do good in Ottawa. Hoffman will definitely fit good with the Florida Panthers, and it was definitely smart of San Jose to flip uh, Hoffman over to the Sens. Last season, Hoffman actually got 56 points in 82 games with the Senators, and Bodker got 37 points in 74 games with the Sharks. The second significant trade that happened was on June 22nd, which involved Brooks Orpig going to the Avalanche along with Philip Grubauer for a 2018 second. There's not much I can say about this trade except for Grubauer is definitely going to be a very solid goalie in Colorado. Now moving on to the Hannafin for Hamilton trade. You guys have probably heard a lot about this as it was one of the more significant trades this past summer. So in my opinion, I would say that Carolina definitely won the trade. As of right now, Hamilton is definitely a very solid defenseman in this league, along with Furland, who is a solid third liner for the Hurricanes, possibly even second liner, and Adam Fox, a very good defensive prospect. The next big trade that happened was on July 1st, which was the first day of free agency, obviously, where the St. Louis Blues acquired Ryan O'Reilly, and the Sabres acquired, the Buffalo Sabres acquired Vladimir Saboka, Patrick Berglund, prospect Tage Thompson, a 2019, a 2019 first, and a 2021 second. Now this was a pretty big trade and it was pretty significant for that day as it was the only trade that happened on this day. And I do think St. Louis won the trade at the time, but we're gonna have to wait until the draft to see how those draft picks pan out. Another trade that happened just a couple days after was when Marcus Kruger rejoined the Blackhawks and Marion Hossa went over to the Coyotes. Now, I guess you can say the Coyotes now acquired Hosa, Datsuk, and Chris Pronger, so they seem to be a very solid team looking into the future. Another trade that happened on August 2nd, 2018, was Jeff Skinner going to the Buffalo Sabres for Cliff Poo, a second, third, and sixth round pick in the 2019 20, and 2020 entry draft. No question about it, unless Cliff Poo turns out to be the next. Crosby or, or I don't know, Panarin. Buffalo has won this trade and has definitely bolstered their, their wingers and their depth of this trade. Coming down to the last couple of trades here in this past offseason, Thomas Tatar, Nick Suzuki, and a 2019 second round pick going to our Montreal Canadiens in exchange for Max Pacioretty, 
This is definitely a tough one to swallow, but hopefully best of luck to Pacioretty. He did record about 37 points this past season. Walter Tarr has gotten about 20 points. Pacioretty was injured for the last bit of the season, and Suzuki looks to be a very promising prospect for our team. So the last major transaction that we're going to be covering this video happened between the San Jose Sharks and the Ottawa Senators on September 13, 2018 involving over six players and three conditional draft picks. Excuse me, four conditional draft picks. So, Ottawa trades their captain, Eric Carlson, and forward Francis Perron for forward Josh Norris, Chris Tierney, Rudolph Balsers, defenseman Dylan DeMello, a conditional 2020 first-round pick, a conditional 2019 second-round pick, and two conditional draft picks. So, throughout the summer, there was a lot of speculation about this trade happening, but in most people's eyes, Ottawa did not get a very valuable return for what they were giving up. And in my opinion, they did not. Eric Carlson is definitely, in my eyes, one of the best defensemen in the league and can be running for the James Norris Trophy next year. Last year, he put up 62 points in 71 games and it was thought that he was injured. Props to TSN for giving us all the info on these trades. So that concludes our opinions on this 2018 trades in the NHL. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Thank you once again to Top Shelf Hockey for letting us record this video. L leave a like on this video. Subscribe to his channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Great job to Snipe City and thanks very much for preparing that video and coming on to discuss all the 2018 NHL offseason events here that you covered in today's video. Snipe City is one of the great new hockey YouTube channels here and I highly recommend you go check them out and consider subscribing for more great content like you've seen here today. If you're new to our channel here, I hope you consider subscribing as well. We cover all 31 NHL teams and there's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody. We will catch you next time.